Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, I have a very boring background. It's very windy outside here in Spain, so I need to record this video inside. A very short video, as I need to create like 10 more videos today um, for the family Discord members. So I will keep it short, but very powerful. You will really enjoy these charts. Now, quickly jump into the these are charts my face needs to be in the red button um, I promise you guys I will make a better video tomorrow again about news and all the stuff but today the charts this guys is the Oryx platform and on the Oryx platform we use the BAM BAM indicator um, why do I like Oryx? You can sign up for free down below in the link and then you can get access to all these beautiful um, forms of grids that you can completely adjust to your uh, needs. Really nice. Now, the BAM BAM indicator you can get there as well. You just go to the indicators on the top and you will find um, the Bitcoin family section over there and you can see that you can get access. Now, again, the short flag, this is on the one hour chart, beautiful chart. The short flag was like perfect. There was a closing down below the yellow stepping line over there. We can see that the BAM crossed downwards at the same time as the flag. And also in the bottom, we could see a lot of red, the red line on top and yellow starting. Triple quadruple confirmation um, even to take that short and maybe take the profit at that long flag over there, 8.5%. Now, the other way around, again, it worked perfectly as well. We had a long flag. Here, the candle closed above the other stepping line. There's a moment also when the BAM crossed the midline. There is a moment when the green line was kind of on top of there, and then the green area started. So that's a triple confirmation from this moment over there till the short flag would be around this level of, again, 8%. Are you exiting this trade? That is all the way up to you. Do you exit at a short flag or do you exit when a candle closes down below the yellow stepping line? That depends on the market. At this moment, with the steep increase in the Bitcoin price, I would wait to um, stop that short. I would wait for a bounce from this yellow line. If we go up another leg uh, above 40k, which is the resistance over here, that would be a beautiful long of maybe 12%. Now, that was cool. <laughs> at least I think that's cool. <laughs> For me, the BAM is working. Um, it also, of course, works, guys, on the 4-hour and, and, and other time frames. Just checked it out on the 4-hour. We also had a long flag. And after the long flag, so that's a 4-hour candle closing. The candle after that was a huge pump. So that was a beautiful call as well. Now, we go to this one. This is the Gaussian channel. Eh, eh, I will wait with the Gaussian channel. We will first go to the day cha channel. And... Um, which is more important. This is the day chart. We're slowly zooming out. On the day chart, you see that I drew this green line that was the resistance. We broke and I drew this yellow line. Okay, we can go there and bounce from the green line up or we fall through it and bounce from the 29K. At the moment, like you can see, we are bouncing from that green line and we're bouncing up. So the biggest resistance is at 38,600 and then at 41K. And after that, it's open space all the way, in my opinion, to uh, over here 50k. So these two resistance levels need to be broken. And if we look at the RSI, what is happening over there, you can see the same. A resistance in these yellow circles, we broke, we retested, and now we are going up again. Do we see this divergence? Now I see the divergence, we can see that RSI is going up. Price is going down, so this could lead to an example, uh, an exa amazing example, amazing pump in the Bitcoin price. Um, you know, we can't predict the future, but the charts are showing us this, and also here, of course, I can put on um, the flags and everything. So you see on the day chart there was a short, and now there will be a long slowly created again. So we zoom out to the Five day channel, five day chart. I mean, on the Gaussian channel, every candle is five days. The bottom, we kept the bottom, and we need to break that midline again again, 47k. And we are looking at hiking ashen candles. If we look at normal candles, we can see that the support is perfect at the bottom. And we have large wicks at the bottom, which means we want to push 
up again. So next couple of days, weeks, if it's important, let's see if we can push Bitcoin back to that uh, price level of 45K or not. On the weekly, again, same long flag, called it again. Uh, we have green area starting. Normally we go a little bit down like the previous time and then up. So we went a little bit down and we need to go up again. And then the moment when we close this green candle above that yellow stepping line, that is for me in confirmation that this complete reversal is intact and will take us to new automize uh, around 70k in my opinion. So this long flag, let's see how that will play out on the weekly. If we zoom out even more on the monthly, we can see the same. Um, it took at the moment, if this was the top, by the way, if this was the top, from the halving in July 2016, it took 17 months till the top. From the halving in May 2020, it took 17 months to the top again. So that's a, a coincidence, isn't it? If this is the top. We are now finding support on the monthly on this blue line, which is the 21 moving average on the monthly. The red line, this one, ooh, sorry, the orange line, I need to say it's not red, it's orange, the are you color blind, is the 12 moving average. So the 12 must not cross the blue one downwards. This red or this orange one needs to turn up again. And how can this turn up? By a candle that is going to go above that orange line. So we need to come above 46,900, again, that 47K level, to um, keep a little bit of bullishness into the market because else we will be able to touch that bottom line of the logarithmic growth curve, which is around 31, 32K. Also increasing every month, of course, but still, I would prefer to see Bitcoin going above that orange line again, as that is a support line during bull runs. Like you can see here in the 2017 one, when we came above the orange line, we stayed above it completely till the end of the bull run. And that is what we should be doing now, come above that line. The MACD is not looking positive. Let's be very honest. The MACD, the blue line is crossing that orange line. That is just not positive. This is bearish. The last time that happened, there was a start of the bear market over here. There, the blue line crossed the red line in 2018. Then the red um, volume bars at the bottom started. And that was the start of the bear market. And you can see that was the moment we broke that orange line over there. So now we broke that orange line. The blue line is crossing. We can see the first two red over there, which is very bearish. That's why I'm saying all the time we are getting we are getting mixed signals. Some bullish ones, some bearish ones. The positive part for me is that the bottom of this logarithmic growth curve is around 30k already. So even if we go a little bit below 29k, I don't see us falling below those kinds of levels. Don't see 20k in play ever again. In my opinion, the RSI and the bottom slowly starts to go sideways and needs to go curling up again and needs to try to reach that 90 level again. And that will be that push above that orange line. Now, guys, um, do follow me on Twitter. Um, I really like Plan B's chart about the gold. So the gold is almost a flat liner. <laughs> it looks like it's almost dead. And the Bitcoin price is only going up, only going up like a song that Bitcoin has. So. All the people that keep discussing to me about gold, it's not an investment for me. Yes, it is in a hedge, and I believe it's a store of value. It still is a store of value. But just look at the chart. If you stepped in in 2012, <laughs> your value would still be the same. This is like a flatliner. It's almost dead. Bitcoin, on the other end, 2012 till now, you would be a billionaire if you would have invested the same amount in Bitcoin instead of a gold at that point. So that is how um, I really like. On Twitter, I share most of the stuff that I read every day. So also here this uh, yesterday, last night from 1 to 3 a.m., I did a really cool Twitter, how do you call this, space. Uh, really nice people, beautiful um, knowledge shared there. It's two hours, but really a lot, of share, um, a lot of knowledge shared. I told you yesterday that I, I'm looking forward to the data of newly created wallets. I don't have the time to check it. I will check it tomorrow. Um, but I do think there is a lot of wallets created in the Ukraine as the first article I read today was Putin's attack triples Ukraine crypto exchange trading volume. So the war 
is opening the eyes of the people again. You don't have access to your bank account, but you will have access to your Bitcoins. Now, if you want to sign up to the Bam Bam Indicator and all this stuff, then go to the bitcoinfamily.com. You will find all the products. Also, the free GTGR. Let's refer to it as the GT. It sounds really cool. Um, there you get free access to an amazing indicator that we made for you. Guys, you just need to walk through five steps. That was BAM everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the short video. If you did enjoy it, then give the then give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? What do you think about my beautiful t-shirt, the Bitcoin revolution? It is on. Now, guys, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam!